Good morning, family. Good morning. Know that you are loved, honored, and appreciated. But most of all, know that you are beautifully made by God. You are, if you didn't know it, let me tell you this morning that you are God's greatest miracle. God doesn't value anybody any greater than he does you. <laughs> He doesn't want anybody other than you to step up and to, and to elevate. God is, is seeking such. The Bible says that he is seeking such who will worship him in spirit and in truth. God is looking for you this morning just to lift your hands and say, first of all, I know you through spirit. Mm, my God. And now I come to you through truth. Of my obedience. I come to I come before you in truth, who is your son Jesus. I come before you in truth is who I am today. What am I doing today to show your truth? I must have order in my life. I must have purpose in my life. I have, must have direction in my life to succeed in what I've been called to do. Tell somebody about the man that out of every situation will pull you out of any situation that will give you hope in any destruction that you've done in your own life and will pull you out of your own darkness. That's the Jesus Christ, our Lord. <laughs> I'm celebrating him this morning. And I'm also celebrating you. That as we're, we're in this 90 day, we're in this 90 day journey together, we're, we're finishing strong together. We started on, on, on Monday to get prepped, and then Wednesday we were going harder into knowing that you must be sinless. John chapter, 1 John chapter 3, remember, we, we, we know that if, if you are of God, you will not commit sin. Now somebody says, well, what do I know? Tomorrow's not promised. What will you do right now? I'm learning that if I can manage my now... <laughs> If I manage my now, then I'm staying in order. I'm not having to come back and, and repent about the same old, same old, same old. And I'm not even having to repent over the new stuff because I'm, I'm, I'm girded. I'm ready to say no. Mm. And no, did, was, did, was I tempted? Yes, I was tempted, but I did not fall into temptation. And if I resist temptation, I will not have trouble. Some of you are dealing with some troubles in your lives that, that is only because of you falling into temptation. You cannot blame the tempter. The tempter does what the tempter does. He doesn't have any choice but the tempt. He knows his clock is ticking. But God loves you, loves me so much that he's letting him still in his, top, his, his, his clock click. So we can have a time to get in order with him and get yourself together. You can do it. If, I, if you hear me tell you, you can do it. I'm telling you, you can do it without sinning. If you hear me tell me you can do it, you can do it without money. If I can tell you you can do it, you can do it without people. If I tell you you can do it, you can do it without yourself. But with God. Bow right in, in, in the... <laughs> There, with God, you can do anything. And I'm ready to do the supernatural anything, but it's with God that I can do these things because I'm a child of God. You're a child of God. We, 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 we are our covenant partners together in this relationship. Oh my God. He wants us to love one another. He wants us to care about one another. He wants us to look out for one another. That's how I'm looking for, for to be sinless is because how I treat you. Uh-uh. And not how I treat you on the outside, how I treat you in my mind. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Put that down, Minister Terry. Proverbs 23 and 7. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you think it, you will become it. So now shift your thinking, Romans 12 and 2, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind must be in a renewing state. My God, I do this so I can stay sinless because I know how to make a godly choice. I stay in this because I can stay without having controversy because I can know how to react in this. I don't have to have enemies because I know how to react in this and I know how to stand my ground in this. 
You, you, me, we must learn to stand our ground in this word and, and stop wavering back and forth, to and fro, up and down. We got to stay consistent, my God. Yes, we must stay consistent. And I'm looking for those that are willing to covenant with me and be consistent in his love, to be consistent in his joy, to be consistent in our faith, to be consistent in our walk, to not just talk, talk, but to do what we've been called to do. First John chapter three, verse 13, this is where we left off on, on Wednesday or where we kind of, we're still in that part right there. First John chapter three, not the book of John, First John, there's second John, third, but first John chapter three, watch this 13 verse 13. Do not marvel my brethren in the world. If the world hates you, we know that we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. See, it's see, see, we, we look at sin and you think sin is stealing and cheating you know how are you treating your brother not your blood brother all brothers all sisters how are we treating each other you can do it yes how you treat me <laughs> now now listen 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 let, let me just clear something up because everybody knows me will tell you that you do not have to tolerate something that is not of God you have to remove yourself from it. Ah, you, we always want to hurt people's feelings by trying to remove them instead of removing yourself. Now, this has become an easy principle for me because the way I can remove situations out of my life that are not of God is just to do God. Before you know it, they ain't calling your number no more. To just do God. Love. Love them like they've never been loved before. Care for them like they've never been cared before. They will shake you in a minute because they can't take the love of God if they are not consumed of the love of God. I'm going to let that one settle in. Let that settle in there. We always talk about this. We talk about that. Are we really accountable to the true love of God? The Bible says that love doesn't hate. Love does not scorn. Love does not kill. Love does not treat wrong. Uh, uh, here, 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 here. I know somebody said, where is it at? First, uh, first Corinthians. Chapter 13. My God. Watch this. Watch this. Love chapter 13, verse 4, and, and you can read the whole thing. Here, let's read, let's let, let's read a few scriptures to hear about some love. Okay. Just so we can know how, what, what is the essence of staying sinless. Watch this. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, but have not love. I have become a sounding brass and a clanging cymbal. First of all, hit the brakes. If everything you got to say is just about, say, I, 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 I say this all the time, if you don't have something godly, good to say, don't say nothing at all. You're doing yourself better if you just don't say anything at all and you allow people to be who they are. Our opinion sometimes draws people down the wrong roads because our opinion is of ourselves and it's not the word of God. Oh, see, I love it when it gets truthful because they start dropping. The numbers start dropping. We was like at 20 on there. We went down to four that quick, but the truth hurts. But for those, those of you still here, you know the truth will set you free. Watch this. Verse two, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and, uh, and all knowledge, and though I have faith so that I could move mountains, but I not love, I am nothing. You must have love in everything you do. Why do we provoke others? Hebrews 10, 24 says, provoke others through love and good works. You must know love. It's important. It's important. Watch this. Watch what, they, what else he says about love. And though I bestow all goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but I not have love, I, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long. It's kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. It's not provoked. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things. 
believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, whether they, they will fall. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that, but when that which is perfect has come, my God, watch this. Then that which is part will be done away with. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. Watch this. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part that when I shall know just as I am known. And now, my God, watch this. Now abide in faith, hope. Love, these three, but the greatest of these three is love. If you are not working on becoming an agent of love, I'm going to let the Holy Spirit say it to you. If you are not the conduit of love, I'm going to let the Holy Spirit speak to you. If you are not the throughput for love, you, it says you are nothing without love. We talk about love so, so, so easily because love can be an attraction. Love can be a look. Love, love can be a feeling. Love can be a smell. Love can be a sound. Love, love can be a taste. Love can be a feel. No, no, true love. The essence, the true essence of love is what I learned. The first thing, the first lesson I ever learned in Sunday school at church was God is love. And if you serve God, you must be a servant of love. Oh yeah, no, no, just not just because you feed the, the hungry, not just because you close the naked, not just because you help this person. No, no, no. Do you really do what you do because of love? Jesus wants us to be in love. He wants us to be consumed with love. He's not looking for people to look to try to do things on their own and for their own reasoning. He is looking for those that will worship him. We start in the beginning. Lift your hands. Say, I will worship you in spirit and in truth now because you're seeking such to worship. Oh, you don't believe me? Watch. We're, we're going to end up where, we, where we're supposed to go, I, believe, I hope, today. But watch this. Chapter four of John. Watch this. Chapter four of John. I, I look, 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 look. I did not. This is this is the word of God flowing through me. This is not where I'm on. John 18 is where I was thought we was going to be at. But we still haven't finished first. First John three yet. But look what God is trying to show us today that you better be ready right now. It says, but the hour is coming and now is. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Chapter 4 of John, verse 23. But the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and the truth and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. He's not looking for you to do nothing else but worship him. Let's, let's get serious on this one here. We're going to talk about worship next week. You remember your list? Your list today is the stuff that you're going you're gonna to finish strong with. Your list today is not the stuff that you're going to ask for forgiveness for. Your list today is not the stuff that you're going to get rid of. The, the list today is going to be the truth list that you are going to go hard in these last days to finish strong in 2019. Your life will never be the same because you're going to start a new life in 2020. You're going to get it seasonally in order. You're going to get it in perspective and get a plan, get a purpose and a direction to go forward in your season. It's my season. Y'all think wonder why I sing that song? I, I love that as my because it's my season daily. I'm claiming my season daily. I sing and listen to that song five, 50 times a day. Throughout others that play. But because I'm claiming my season now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It says, but the hour is coming, and when now is when true work. Are you a true worshiper? Are you a part-time praiser? Or a part-time musician, or a part-time singer, or part-time lift your hands, or that somebody got to get you to stand up, somebody got to beg you to, to holler and scream. No, a true worshiper, my God, will worship Him in spirit and 
in truth. No other way. Watch this. Because the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit, verse 24. God is spirit, and those who worship him must be in, must worship him in spirit and in truth. Is it your season? And the only season that you'll ever have is to worship him. Oh my God, lift your hand, say, oh no, it's my season to worship him. It's my spirit to praise him. It's my spirit, it's my season to give him the best glory, honor, and praise that I possibly can. When? Now is the time. Oh no, if you're not a true, if you're not a true worshiper, don't be mad at yourself. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. You say, oh, wait, you stepped all on my toe. You, 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 you pull up my coattail. Uh, uh, don't trip out. Don't trip out. Don't, don't beat yourself up. Hit the brakes and say, Lord, I missed it. I read this so many times and the light just went off that now I know what you are talking about, about being a true worshiper right now. Not Sunday morning at church, not at Bible study, not at communion, not at missionary meeting. Not No, 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 no. You must worship him now. See, worship is a service. Worship is an honor that you honor him and respect him. Oh, we're going to go deep into this next week. I ain't know where we were going next week until right now. God is a spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. And don't be like the woman. He was right there before her. Watch what she says. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming who is called the Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. See, in our form or in our uh, 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 exercise of so-called worship, we think all that noise and all that banging and all that da 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 da. No, 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 no. We got to make a joyful noise, and we can use the harp, we can use the drum, we can use all that. But that's a that's a, a celebration. Worship is an attitude. Worship, no, no, it's over a lifestyle. Worship is a characteristic. Worship is something that you have to really understand and study what is true worship. Uh -uh, no, 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 no. I'm not knocking your service on Sunday. I'm not knocking your time on the worship this morning, but true worshipers. He says worship in spirit and in truth. That's going to catch up to somebody in about five, four, three. See, spirit means you have to have a spiritual relationship with him. It's just not good enough of what you thought was good enough. It's not, it's not, it's not. It has to be spiritual. Can't be because of my mama, my daddy, my sister, my brother, or anybody else. It has to be because of my spirituality and my willing to die of flesh so the spirit can live. Oh, go ahead, lift your hands right there. Say, Lord, Lord, let my spirit live. Breathe that breath of life into me right now. I know I've just been a shell. Now I want to be filled with your spirit. And it's done. Oh, come on, lift your hands. Get that anointing right now. Say, Lord, fill me. Give me, give, fill me with your love. Fill me with your joy. Fill me with your correction. Fill me with obedience, Lord. Take away everything that is not like you and remove it out of my life right now. No, 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 no. Don't think it just happens magically. God is not a, is not a magician. Uh-uh. You have to go to work. I understand why a lot of people don't follow the, the, the covenant, the now network, because we don't. We're going to stay in your face about what are you going to do to do the right thing. And no, 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 no. And not condemning. Because believe me, I'm the first one it comes to. He's talking to me. He's holding me accountable constantly. I need this word to hold me accountable. I need to read it and keep studying and get the new revelations of it. That I can understand that I need to now watch this. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Minister Terry. With a clean spirit. No, nah, that old nasty, no, nah, that old negative, that, no, 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 that's not true worship. <laughs> Some of us just, just got out the, I'm, here, I'm, I'm going to throw somebody under the bus. 
Some of us just got out the car cussing somebody out, walking to church. Oh, you hear that, that favorite song? Raise your hand and think you worship it. No, you just making some noise. You, you like a, it's like you like at the beginning of 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 uh, first of uh, first Corinthians. It says, "Though I speak it, speak with tongues and of men and of angels, but not have I have not love. I become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal." <laughs> some of us just making some noise out there instead of really honing in to worship. It's important that your that your that your that your worship relationship. Is right now relationship. You constantly know that the time is now. When now? It says, but the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers, if you call yourself a true worshiper, you need to be on this broadcast next week because that's all we're going to talk about all week is what is worship, who gets worshiped, and why we be our worshipers. We're going to go through it. But we're going to understand some stuff. You're going to see that it has nothing to do with sounds. It has nothing to do with instruments. No. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Worship in spirit and in truth. Watch this. Go over to John. John chapter 17, verse 20. Verse 20. This, this, this section here uh, uh, of John 17, 20 through 26, you could basically say was all about me. I know I put my name on it, but you can too. But this is a part that is all about me. If you've never said or ever thought that, that, that Christ never spoke to you and that this was for, for the, 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 the preacher, the minister, the pastors or whatever to, 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 to be able to, no, 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 no. Today is the day when you can be a little selfish in this thing and say, this is all about me. Remember the red letters, the red letters. You better watch the red letters because it's important because they were very clear to, 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 to uh, write down exactly what Jesus said. Watch this. Chapter 17 of John, verse 20. It says, I do not pray for these alone. Remember, he had just went through praying for himself uh, in the beginning of 17. And then around, uh, around six, chapter six, he prayed for his disciples. And this is his prayer just for me. Watch this, watch this. I put my name on it all here. Christ's prayer forever. Christ's prayer for Pastor E. You put your name on it too. Watch this. I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their word. Stop. Hit the brakes. See, I can really put that on there because if it wouldn't have been for the disciples and, 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 and all of our, 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 our ancestors throughout the word of God, we would not have this opportunity or the, 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 the right to have any inheritance. We wouldn't. So thank God for those that were obedient. I thank God for those that went through the trials and the tribulations. See, you got to understand something. They went through some stuff back there that we don't experience. It's going to come a time where you're going to get caught up on it. It's going it, to be going to be a shifting when, when to, to really be doing what, what I'm doing right here. This would be a, a, a cardinal sin in the world. And it's going to be a season where they're going to be cutting off Facebook pastors and cutting us down on videos and putting us in jail. And, and you better watch out. And you better watch what you say because I already know what I'm building myself up for. It's going to be a day of condemnation against us that believe. There's going to be a mark on our head of, of, of the, he, there's one of them. Well, for me, it's going to be a B. It ain't going to be a C. You know, and there's one of them Christian. No, there's one of them believers. And I'll take it right now. And here I am. And you better know it's going to get rough. But are you built for that? I'm built for that. I'm building myself up now for that. But I know it's because of his prayer for me. I know it's because of those that went before me. I know it's because of the right to the tree of life. I know because of what has already been paid. I know that it's not, it's not by, by, by coincidence. And it's not by just some some uh, uh, miracle. I mean, uh, 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 some 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 uh, uh, hocus pocus magical situation. No, because of his miraculous love for me, mm, I can do it. 
And because of his miraculous love for you, let me get in your face right now. You can do it. Watch this. I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. You mean to tell me that he didn't, his prayer for me wasn't for me to be the best guy, the best preacher, the best this, the best that? No, his prayer, not for just one, but he says that they all may be one. As you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they may also be one in us. My God. You better let it go right now. You better let it go right now. Just say, Lord, no, 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 no. I ain't, no, I'm not important. You might as well tell it right now. Yes, I just, I take, I take them. I take it now. I'm irrelevant. <laughs> oh my God. I'm, I'm a zero. I'm nothing. So you can be everything. You must decrease so he will increase. And let me tell you something now. Whether you decrease or not, he's going to still increase because he's already increased. If we talked about that last week, remember, if you have been raised with Christ, seek those things which are what? In heaven and not what is on earth. You got to change directions. You got to get a new perspective. You got to get a new, new drive, a new goal in your life. Watch this. Watch this. That they all be one as you, Father, and are in me and I in you, that they may also be one with us, that the world may believe that you sent me. Don't you see, family, that everything we do is for the world to believe? I, I hear folks talking all the time. They'd be like, dude, you be on that world thing. He didn't come. He was just one section of Jews. If he would have said that, he said, for God so loved the Jews that he gave his only begotten son. That's not what the word I says and if you look up world it says the entire universe built in this world right here in the four continents all of the cities all of the states all of the magnitude of water it is the world he says in the beginning god created heaven and earth that is the world come on y'all for god so loved the world he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed I, I hit myself because I believe will not perish, but have everlasting life. That's it. And that he said the world because he meant the world. I get sick and tired of people trying to so, uh, 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 just associate a certain. No, if he would, if that's what he meant, that's what he would have said. I ain't just came for the Jews. That's what he would have said. He came just for the black folks. That's what he would have said. He came just for the Caucasian. But he, that's what he would have said. My God, can we take it for what he said? And stop trying to put your own twist on it. No matter who you are. That goes for me first. I can't put my own twist on it. I have to read the word. Understand the word. I got to get familiar with the word. I got to understand the word. I got to revelate with the word. And I must, I must have activation in the word. My God, watch this, watch this. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them that they may be one just as we are one. Don't you see the cost that's been paid for you? Yes, he died on the cross. Yes, he bled for you. Yes, but what? this is the glory of what it was all about. The cross is not him no more. The cross is you because if you follow him, you have to take up your cross daily and follow. Go on, get up there. Go on up there and say, oh, I'm just going to hang for my brother today. I stay on there for you. Uh-huh, yep. Daily, I'm taking up my cross daily, daily, daily. What's my daily? Right now. Now is the time when true worshipers, see, 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 it ain't just about, oh, hallelujah, praise the Lord. No, it's about an attitude of worship. Oh my God. And, it's, it, it, and that's what's so important about this thing. And I would love to preach these sermons because it's about that we are can be one. God cares for you. He cares for me. He, there's no respect or person. His love is abound for each one who will believe. Watch this. 
I in them, verse 23, I in them and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me where I am, that they may be behold my glory, which you have given me, for you love me before the foundation of the world. O oh, righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known you that you sent me. Have you been sent? I have. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I've been sent to follow Christ. Have you been sent to follow Christ? See, when you learn to follow Christ, you do things in excellence. Because not only are you following him, you're, 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 you're exemplifying him by your example on how you love your neighbor. I, 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 I carry myself a certain way because I love my neighbor and I want my neighbor to know how to carry themselves. Not like me, like Christ. Read it. You got to have integrity. Read it. You got to have love. Read it. This is the same word for you that it is for me. Watch this. Watch this. Father, I desire that they may also know you, uh, that, that they also whom you gave me may be, may be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which you have given me, for you love me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known you that you sent me, and I have declared to them your name, and will declare it that they that the love with which you love me may be with them and I in them. See, this is not a prayer for down the line. Remember, I told you, this is just for me. This, this section, this is just, just for me. If you've never thought or ever said that Jesus would never spoke to you, he spoke to somebody else to you. No, you could go back to, to John 17 verses 20 through 26 and say, that was a letter just for me. Make it personal. And you got to know that once you have accepted him as your personal Lord and Savior, he's not outside of you. He's not around you. He's not in somebody else for you. He is inside of you. He desires to be inside of you. And you inside of him. See, it's a, it's a give and a take situation because you can't be this given, but you got to try. And the more you sow, the more he sows. And before you know it, your covenant with him is solid. Your covenant with him is not wavering. Your covenant is not just when you get in trouble or, or something goes wrong. Your covenant is not when you need him. Your covenant is always, it's an attitude because you are now true worshipers that worship him in spirit and in truth. Family, it's time for us to step it up. It is. No, uh, -uh I, I tell you all the time. I mean, you got to do your. You got to get you right. Then join with the right crowd and with the right group, the right covenant people that you know are going to give as much as you give and going to do more than you do. I know that's a hard team to find. It is, but you got to let somebody try. <laughs> I'm telling you, but you got to let somebody try. And guess what? Before you know it, you done ran up on somebody that's doing exactly what God wanted them to do. Be obedient to him, not you. Follow him, not you. Do what, what he says, not you. Now, you may be a, a, a manager of people. And with becoming a manager, you have to now be a mouthpiece for order and for and for uh, uh, organization and, and and peace and love and joy. Hey, that goes with with the title, but that don't mean it's you. It's, it's just you are representing who gives you the right, and that's Christ. And it's not what you do. Go ahead and say it. It's how you do it. It's not what you say. It's how you said it. And then how you looked is the look you had on your face. It's not the response. It's what kind of, what, what was the response? How did you respond? Everything we do must be done in the now and it must be done under him. I love you because I love him. I know there's some things that, that I would not get along with about people. That's just, that's just the dif differences in people. But I don't look at the people any longer. I look at him that's in the people. And somebody say, well, they don't have it. Well, then get them in it. Don't just write them off just because you say they don't have him in it. Then get them in him. <laughs> the 
Come on, plant the seed. And love your brother. And we go a long way. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. Come on, open up the portion room right now. We're asking for our covenant partners to give. And you know what I'm talking about when I say give. Give love, give joy, give peace. Whatever it is that God has bestowed on you that you know you can make it, just give it to give it in the portion room. Don't put it on somebody's name. Unless God has instructed us, we never say a name. or because We'll tell you just to dive in. <laughs> If that's what the Holy Spirit says, but just give freely. And you can't give in the portion room if you're expecting something back. This is a free will offering. Not monies either. You can sow into this ministry. Provoke2000now.com. Provoke2000now.com. I dare you to read the covenant partner on there. Read what it means to become a covenant partner. Good morning, Valerie. How are you, woman of God? God bless you. I wanted to be at the picnic uh, I, so bad. I was out of town. I was... I was out of, on the other side of town and uh, I, I couldn't make the, the CPT uh, high school reunion but give freely right now in the name of Jesus Ooh, thank you Lord we bless you we praise you in Jesus name amen family I love you guys I thank, I thank God for you I, I'm, I'm excited for this, this journey that we're on I'm excited for the things that God is doing and I'm excited for, for how you're willing to just just to give it all to him and to sacrifice, the praise to him and to know that, that with him you can do it, but without him you can do nothing. Amen. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. We'll talk to you on Monday. Yeah, next week is about worship. We're going deep in worship. Now, uh, you, we wrote that, you wrote that list down. You had those things down. The other, uh, whatever he didn't release from you. I know some things he got out, he let you go because he didn't want you to in him no way. But it's some things he wants you to complete. That list is that finished strong list. We're going to talk about that Monday also uh, as we get ready to worship because you see, it's all a built up in attitude. You got to close out. I finished, I had three things on the list. I finished one last week, I finished the second one yesterday, and I got the third one to go, and I'm just waiting on some confirmations to get the third one out the way. And I'm going to be on my way from all the way prep. It's so good to be loosed of it. I remember when I, I'll confess, when I first started this, this seasonal um, um, lifestyle, whew, my list was big as a book. <laughs> page after page after page. <laughs> Woo, but hard work and diligence on crossing over into something that's never, ever been done before. My life has never been the same. And I'm thankful that God instructed me and, and gave me the strength to, 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 to climb the mountain and not move. You can do it too. Amen. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. Talk to you on Monday, 9 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Mountain, 11 a.m. Central, and 12 noon on the East Coast. For wake up, get up, and move in your purpose. I love you guys. Facebook, what's up, family? What's up, Minister Michelle Cortez, uh, Minister Eddie Bell, and, and Minister Queen G. What's up, family? And, and you're up in the, in the big state of Texas. We praying right now over you guys. We covering with you guys in your travels and in the, in the things that God has in store for you. We looking for the increase to come in. Every seed that you've sown, that God is multiplying because of your faith in him. Every, every dollar that you've given, God is replacing and replenishing a hundred million fold because of your willingness to give freely. And because of the love that you share across this country in every venue, every place that you go to, every picture you take, Minister Eddie, every interview you do, Minister Queen G, that 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 you sow into people because you sown into my life and I know you do it, that God will re just give you the abundance that you don't have room to, re to, to receive, but it will overflow into you and the flow into others. Every person you encounter will not be the same. Every person you talk to will be changed. Every person that you touch will never, ever, ever go back to from which they came because of the name that's above every name, because of the name that's every knee will bow, because of the name that every tongue will confess. Jesus Christ is Lord and is done in that name. Amen. Amen. Glad you guys popped in. I got to pray for you online today, and I'm thankful to be used as a covering for you guys. I'm thankful to be a covenant partner with you guys. I'm talking about all you guys, James Hudson, uh, Minister Barbara, everybody, y'all, my covenant folks, y'all know what I'm talking about. 
I am I I, I thrive. To be in the gap for you. I, I thrive to, to be on the post for you. I, it, I get up early in the morning to go it, to get the park with you. <laughs> if anybody knows me, they know what I talk about the park. Amen. But I love you guys. I love you so much. Minister Terry, good morning. Minister Eddie Bell. Minister Queen G, good morning. Minister Michelle Cortez, good morning. Minister Barbara Coates, good morning. Minister Shannon Jones, good morning. Minister Valerie Jones, good morning. Minister Yvette Williams, good morning. Deacon Roy Val, what's up, my brother? Minister MC Hill, what's up? Pastor Valores Brooks, Spirit of Truth Ministries up in Wisconsin. Amen. Minister Carrie Baker, good morning. Minister Dorothy Ramey, good morning. Uh, Minister Barbara McGee, good morning. Minister Anthony Van, good morning. Minister Leonard Roth, good morning. Minister Shirley McClen uh, McMillan, good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Minister Selena Stewart, good morning. Pastor Regina, what's up? How are you, Regina Ray? Pastor out of Houston, Texas. God bless you. Minister Della Osby, what's up, homegirl? Back from Sea City. What's happening? Minister Carmen Mosley Quinn, good morning. Minister uh, Lovable Morrison, a bold, I don't want to misspell or anything, but uh, uh, good morning, uh, Lovable Morrison, Minister Minister Morrison, Minister Curtis Odom, good morning, God bless you, man of God, Minister Jacqueline not, Neves, good morning, Pastor Brenda Spann, good morning, what's up, my sister, Minister Tamika Crump, good morning. Minister Olivia Williams out of Houston. Good morning, my sister. Minister Derek Washington. Good morning. Prophetess Alicia Tucker. What's up, woman of God? How are you? God bless you. Minister Dory Dorsey and Minister James Hudson and Showtime out of H-Town. If you guys are ever just want to see some dynamic st stage plays, you need to get in touch with James Hudson and Showtime. James has a way that you can, uh, for a very, very affordable cost, you can you can watch his plays from ever. I believe there's a couple of them that I'm in on, on there uh, uh, um, uh, that that you can that you can watch and be a part of. Get in touch with James Hudson and Showtime. Uh, the brother got a, he, 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 you, he'll send you a link and you can watch any play that he has there for a very, very affordable place, a price. And not only that, let's support James Hudson. James Hudson in Showtime sows into the community weekly, daily, as a matter of fact. And he mentors young kids in the acting. He does a lot of stuff out of his own pocket. And I thank God for James. But hey, support the brother. Go 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 down download a, a couple of plays, or if you want to see a play I was in, get in touch with James and say what well, which one was Pastor E in, and he'll give you the link. You pay the cost, and uh, and then you'll have that access to get in there, and uh, and you're also helping bless his ministry. Amen, amen. That goes for everybody. We need to support each other. What's up, Minister Mustafa Khan? What's up, my brother? How you doing? Compton in the house, CPT. Um, but we must support one another. If you got a business, get it to me. We want to try to put together. Mister Terry can help me with this. Uh, we want to put together a business directory. And you may be out of state. We don't care. We travel. We know people who travel. We want to, on what's the word, we're going to put together a business directory on what's the word with Minister Terry. So we're asking you to submit your business uh, to, you go to, to the page, what's the word with Minister Terry. Send her a personal message. Send me a personal message. Don't post it on here. Or you can post it on here. It doesn't matter. But if you want us to put it in this, in this directory, Get it to us in one of those forms through Messenger, through texting, through email. You can email us at provoked2000 at live.com. Provoked2000 at live.com. Uh, you can send it through my Messenger here on Facebook. Or um, you can call the hotline 213 595 7591. 213 595 7591. Or you can go on the website. Provoke2000now.com. Hit the link on there that, that you want to communicate. It'll pop up on my phone, and we can talk from there. Get get your number and get you in. But if you have a business, let's get your businesses. Let's start promoting that, Minister Terry. Let's get a business directory 
that we know and love and that we will promote in our own areas. Amen. So we'll put it out there now. Ease tease for you. Your complete printing solutions. You think it, we print it. That's simple. You think it, we print it. Signs, banners, cards, flyers, shirts, hats, pants, clothing, uh, banners, flags, uh, 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 revolving signs, you name it. If it has something to do with printing, give me a call. I can take care of you and I probably can beat any price in any state right now. Amen. We have some fundraiser things going on. If your business is 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 a a, a is a a business that is supporting your ministry, please get that in the directory. If you are a believer and you are sowing tithes and you are sowing seeds, please let's get you in the directory too. That we know the people that we're saying, oh yeah, and I'm gonna check up on you. I'm gonna make sure that that business I would that I would uh, 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 patronize. And if I patronize it, then I'll tell the world. Simple as that. Get your business to me. Let's let's get that out there. Amen, family. Oh, this is about. He says that we could be as one. Don't you understand that what you have, I need. What I have, you need. But we'd rather go out and get it from somebody else. And then let's stop there. Then we want to go to the person that's a Christian or whatever, and then lowball them and, and cut them under and be like, "Well, they got it over there for twenty, and then they want you to give it to them for fifteen, but you want twenty five because you got good material and you not you, your stuff is not returnable." See, I got some unreturnable stuff. It ain't coming back because I let it go out the door. Perfect. Amen. I do. Anyway, let's support one another. And if you want to support this ministry and the Now Network, you can do that at provoke2000now.com. Provoke2000now.com. And you go to the covenant partner as a one-time uh, offering, or you can become a covenant partner and give forever until the Lord says different. Amen. Well, family, we love you. We appreciate you. Yes, tomorrow we're on the corner of Avalon and 76. The whole street is being shut down for about 10, five blocks. We, we, we got, we're going to have uh, uh, the East Tea booth out there, but, but, but there'll be mute. There'll be entertainment. There'll be free food, free every, just come on out. You know, we always got bags of snacks that we're giving away. Come on out and fellowship with us. If you want to donate, you can get in touch with me, tell, drop it off at the office. Bring it down tomorrow. Come help out at the booth. Do come come help. Be a part. 76 in Avalon from 2 o'clock tomorrow until 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Saturday. 76 and Avalon. That is the the LA Peace. Peace for I, I, I don't want to mistake it. The flyer is somewhere else, but it's, I, I'll get that after the day and put the flyer on my page. Amen. God bless you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. I, 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 honor, I honor you. But the most important thing, just like we started, you are God's greatest miracle. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. And you better start telling yourself that you are a child of God and God had created you for greatness. Yes, he, he created you to be the best you ever. Start acting like it. Wake up, get up, and move in your purpose. Love you guys.